Okay, well, I think this is really a question of um, the way in which you think about a future learning system. So let me suggest to you that more and more people are saying that learning, as I've indicated, is a shared responsibility. So assume that, in fact, we know more about the, the vision, the, the task, what we see as being um, a, an education worth having. Let's say that, that there's an agreement around that. And let's argue that, in fact, that will require building of the capacity of not only the teaching profession, but uh, all of those who are going to support us in the learning game, and primarily young people, their parents, their communities. This is very much a collective effort. And let's also remember that the learning that we're talking about now is both formal and informal. So this is not contained to a particular time or place. That's not just a technology argument about any time, anywhere. It's actually understanding that those who are demanding learning have now got the opportunity to be able to access that through multiple providers. So it's a question about the existing providers thinking about how they can do that work in powerful ways. It's also about embracing new providers um, of learning opportunities for young people and thinking about that both formal and informal. Let's be clear about the nature and the purpose of the work. Let's be clear about the role of the profession, of schools as we know them, of new learning environments and new providers. Then the question is, how do you create the conditions for a very healthy ecosystem for learning? In other words, multiple species, yes, a healthy environment where in fact we can have all of the collective effort that we're talking about, where we can have innovation, where we are seeing new ways of being able to do this work. So the question is, how could government support that work? Well, if you think about government as being less the provider and the regulator, and more the enabler and the broker, then you get a sense of how you can create healthy ecosystems of learning, the government crucial role, but it's not just government. The authorising environment for this work that supports and enables is not just government. Government has to also think about the way in which the community, the public, the media, the teacher unions, the corporate sector, all of those people are either enablers of or they could actually make things more difficult, right, to create the kind of learning system that we desire. So it's a big question about government, but it's even bigger.